hi there friend lover and sister welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mufaro m and if you're new warm welcome to you if you're an oldie welcome back so i have yet another she in haul it's a small order i don't really do big orders i'm a minimalist girl and i promise i promise this is my last she in order for a long time <laughs> unless i don't know an emergency happens <laughs> so oh it's raining must be good luck i'm gonna get thousands of views on this video so as i was saying in fact millions of views <laughs> why am i done playing anyway um as i was saying um or as rather you will see by the title of this video i'm going to title this video she in haul and also how to get the correct size because um from some of the sheen hauls i've done people always ask what size is this or especially like getting the shoe size wrong so funny enough like when i ordered these three items i really thought they were going to come in the wrong size i was really scared that they were not going to fit and i'm going to start with my favorite item pants guys when i tell you that even when i go in store to edgar's i know i've tried to look for pants where else have i tried to look for pants like you know formal pants these can be formal they can be casual um you're gonna see in the video that i was doing for my reels these like first of all i chose the right color the color is appearing a bit bright on camera but it's a baby blue almost dusty blue um what is the color of this blue i'm gonna find the color of this blue and put it um somewhere here but they are absolutely stunning so and then also i'm gonna give like detailed tips on how to make sure you buy the right size so just to show you the pants i'm not a big fan of the waistline um but they look really pretty and also they're a bit baggy in the front so they were supposed to put like they were supposed to what's the word like if you know how to make clothes like my mom makes clothes you call it a seam so to just reduce some of the material in the front so that the pants don't have that bulgy pouch and actually so the most important thing when it comes to shopping on sheen read reviews people actually take pictures in what in what they have bought so let's say you are also interested in these pants i'm gonna put the code of the pants etc and you are on the pants in the on the website so if you scroll down there's detailed reviews and you might also see someone who looks like they've got a similar body to yours and you'll actually be surprised to say oh they fit a medium so i should also get a medium or someone who has the same height and weight as you so that really really helps to read the reviews and then the most rational tip is that you need to ask yourself what what type of material is this by this i mean is it a stretch material or it's a non-stretch material now sometimes because it is she in they can get it wrong but this is definitely non-stretch material if it has any stretch it's very slight but there isn't there isn't a lot where this material could go so when it comes to stretch non-stretch it sort of talks about how much room for error do you have when it comes to getting the right size now for me i always look at hip size if it's not gonna fit your hips so owning a tape measure it's so i actually own a tape measure i'm too lazy to grab my tape measure but we all know what a tape measure looks like if you've had clothes tailored for you before you know exactly what a tape measure looks like grab a tape measure measure your hips so you want to measure the biggest part of your hips where you are more round <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense like where you are more round and you want to measure your hips watch a tutorial watch some watch youtube and figure it out so you want to make sure that you know your hips mine are 112 centimeters i think 111 so they jump between sometimes 110 centimeters sometimes 111 centimeters i think now they're 111 centimeters so this um these pants were 111 centimeters uh, my biggest hip size is 112 centimeters so in my chubbier days i'll be 112 centimeters on the hips which is quite a lot and it's so difficult to find anything that is non-stretch material that is that has 112 centimeters hips so and then another thing sometimes don't be too concerned on the waist it was saying 76 centimeters so i asked myself how do you go from 76 meters how do you go from 76 centimeters of which if you you know cut it in half that is about this two hips that are like this 
okay yes some people have such bodies but i was like that is definitely not my body i have a big waist which is why i actually struggle to find pants that fit but god thank god guys oh these pants fit perfectly as you can see from the video these pants fit perfectly i love the color it's pretty i don't know why the color is appearing very bright but i think if i zoom in it it shows you the the color more realistically but i and i've been wanting blue um pants like these i don't know you guys pull them slacks nowadays i don't know like i it's too difficult to follow up with ama 2000 honestly <laughs> i don't know why they put slacks but i just call them flare pants and they have a belt so i think you also see from my from the video of me wearing the pants the belt is a bit pointless because i don't know how you wear this belt honestly i don't know the belt is confusing me maybe i'm missing something but i i don't think i'll wear it with the belt as i was talking about the sizing guys so in tip number one i said it's important to know your hip size now this this dress really confused me and i almost got the wrong size like i almost got something that wasn't gonna fit so i got these pants in a large sorry in case you're asking the pants are large that was my size and then this dress i initially got it in extra large now then i really thought to myself i in my last she in haul which i'll link in this video i got a skirt in extra large and that skirt was a bit baggy on me i was like a large would have been perfect it would have really held me together because you know that type of skirt really needs you you know it's supposed to touch the hips now a similar mistake almost happened with this dress now this is stretch material this material stretches quite a bit and if you see um on sheen they say the material has got medium stretch so the funny thing and the confusing thing about this the hip size wasn't adding up it was way a lot smaller than what i would need the bust size a lot smaller than what i would need but then i went and read reviews and i saw a lady who weighs the same amount as i weigh and about the same height as me and she looked about the same size as me she fit a large and i was like no i should definitely get a large because the measurements weren't making sense then i said to be safe let me get an extra large but i think yeah so sometimes you have to follow me like I, okay what i'll say is if the material is non stretch you must follow this the the the, the, the measurements if the material stretches then you need to consider reading reviews and you also need to consider what size are you like generally right now i am a size 12 uk 12 which is a large so but then again it always depends on who's made the dress who's made the pants so uh, yeah etc etc like i really didn't think the pants were gonna fit i was so relieved when they fit so yeah actually all three items i got in a large because that's what was making sense and yeah with this dress actually like i feel like even if i had gotten a medium it was going to fit because it's a bit baggy um it's a bit big here um so honest honestly speaking yeah it's actually it says it's a large so a medium was also gonna fit for me for this dress because they say it's medium straight so if you are like around my size i say get even medium but then also like sometimes maybe it's just a maybe they just didn't think it through this part is too big the hips fit perfectly i'm sure you'll say so large is probably you know the safest thing to go to you also don't want to get clothes that are too small and then when you have to when you stretch them out too much they are more prone to getting torn um they will easily be worn and torn basically so i think a large makes perfect sense the material smells funny um, but it's not like a weird smell, but it just it just has a weird smell, but I think it's because of I don't know what they made this material out of but it definitely it has a weird smell and also somebody left that review But I mean yeah, wash it. It will be fine. And then <laughs> another tip if I can If I can give another tip on Shein, please don't buy cheap things guys. The pants were about 288 she and always gives a discount i feel like the sh the pants were listed for 301 or something like 300 and then when i put them in my cart they changed to 288 the dress same story i think it was retailing for 288 and then when i put it in my cart the dress was 256 something like that 
and then me decided <laughs> i really want a corset top and this one was so cheap and i was like okay my budget i'm worried about my budget now um and then i got this top i think in on on pictures it looks nice but in real life this is like cheap cotton and it doesn't even have wiring inside it doesn't look as how it looks on she and i think that's the disappointing thing but it looks nice on pictures even yeah it doesn't even if yeah it, as long as i wear it with something nice it doesn't look bad but i feel like i'll have to be very careful about how i wash it i can tell this is the the type of black that eventually fades and becomes very not so pretty not so not so easy on the eyes that's the word so yeah um other than that it's a cute top it was a hundred rand yeah i got it for like it was i don't know how much it was listed before but i know i paid 101 for it but that's the danger don't buy cheap things on shein because you will get cheap quality um yeah the pants I, i'm not sure if the pants are sheer but i think i'm gonna wear with them with my underwear with my with my biker short underwear just you know because it is a light color maybe if, the, if it was black they were not going to be sheer but the color is a bit light so i would definitely wear those with with proper underwear so that nobody has to see too much um other than that i hope i made sense i can't think of any other tips when it comes to getting the right size i think it's all about knowing your size like some people they know they're small no matter where but some of us like yeah sometimes i can be a medium sometimes i can be a large depending on who has made that item so i love you for watching always i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it was informative please get the right size you know you have to do a lot of research otherwise you know it's disappointing to get excited i think also when you're online shopping you get a bit excited you're like oh yes yes this is add to cart add to cart just make everything a medium and then yeah things come and they don't fit so just do your research read re reading reviews is the most important tip i can give because then you see people who look like you and you're like you know what if that fit then i can get the same size so yeah love you for watching always um please watch another video subscribe if you're not subscribed and subscribe if you're not subscribed bye